Oh, come on now. It's not how that does the work. It's the Father that's, come on somebody, in me. So in the beginning was God. And he said, let there be that there was this Jesus. And now he said, I established my covenant with Isaac. And he said, on the eighth day, I want that full skin cut back. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want not the flesh, but I want the spirit to shine. I want the inner thing to shine that was hid on the inside. And the, you know, and the life is inside of the seed, not on the outside. Why you keep grabbing this hole when the seed is right here? The covenant is about the eighth day, the new beginnings. So now you're telling me that all things have become brand new. I become holy. He is holy. Huh? The Sabbath is holy, but yet I rise. Come on, somebody. So he's washed away my sins. Everything that's entered into that rest. Is I, I've rested from my own wife. Yes, sir. I've rested from the corner of work. Yes. And now the spirit, instead of smacking the rock, I got to speak to the rock. Yes, sir. I got to speak things that are not as though they were by the strength of the law. Yes, sir. Am I here? Right. And, and, and if I speak it with authority, you know, you know when you first plant a seed, it's got, a, it's got a time that it's going to break forth a harvest. It's a time before you see it. But you got to go ahead and speak it. And the water will come forward if you speak to that rock. And if you don't want to praise it, the rock give out that water. Come on, somebody. I'm just saying. So I, 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 I become brand new. And all things have become brand new. And I'm not going back to where, he came, where I came from. I'm moving on. The second season is not of the outer man. The second season is revealed to the inner man. And now I'm walking in the spirit. I'm walking in the dominion. I'm walking in the power. And I'm not afraid any longer. Because he didn't give me the spirit of fear. He gave me the spirit of power. Because the flesh is weak. The flesh ain't endure. But when the storm comes. When, when it rises up against it. The flesh will give in. But the spirit of said. Go ahead on because I see Jesus standing on the right hand side of God, the Father, and if you stole me to death, the word has become flesh. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. When the word came, see when the word came, the flesh died. When the word came, the letter died. They don't need to be a subject to the Sabbath, but the Sabbath is a subject to the Word. Yeah, yeah. And I have become one with the Word. Oh, come on now. Why am I concerned about a holy day? Why am I concerned about the days of the week? Why am I walking in the glory of God? Why am I not walking in the mean? Why am I not saying I can do all things? To Christ the less rest of me. Why I'm not proclaiming that God shall see see you when you when you trouble and you worry and you can't get on your feet. I heard Paul say I run the glory in my infirmity that the power of Christ may rest upon me because when my infirmity come, I can stand up and say, I know that God shall, and that'll keep me running, that'll keep me strong. I know that I'm coming out of this, and I'm coming out of this better than I was when I went in. I know that God is doing a work in my life. I know that what the devil meant for evil, God has allowed for my good. I know that all things work together for good. See, if you love the word 
If you love God more than you love who the next said that I am, yeah. if you love who God said that I am, yes, sir. Yes, sir. if you listen to God yeah. and not listen to the world, if you listen to God and not listen to the principles of this world, if you listen to God and not listen to the letter of the world, if you listen to God and the universe that has been overridden by God, and the universe that has been circumcised and not the spirit of God is in charge. Well, I got my paperwork. But the power is in the spirit of God. That's right. The word that I speak, their spirit is in life. Yes, sir. See, here's the whole scenario. In the beginning, was the living God? They created everything. Amen. And when he said, let there be light, he said, God is with us. He's spoken on our behalf. He's sown in our lives. Everything is about to be all right. They will see that God is with me, and they're going to be a friend of me. They will see that God is with me, and then they're going to be able to keep me down. Yeah. They're going to war against me. They're going to they rise up against me, but there's no weapon for them against me that shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me, I'm calling a lie. Well, how can you call it a lie? Because God's word be true. Right. Let every man be a lie. Right. The Bible says in John 17 and 17, Father, thy word is true. What is truth? Jesus Christ. Right. Who is Jesus Christ? The Son of God. Who is Jesus Christ, God Almighty? Who is Jesus Christ with us, incarnate? Amen. See, if the doctor tell you you're going to die, and the word tell you you're going to live, you might as well go and celebrate. I know that's right. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. And the world tell you they can't do that for you. And if God be fighting, you can go ahead and get God to pray. If it had not been for the law, who was on my side? See, God give young men's talent and the devil tell them to it, you ought to sell drugs. Why would I sell drugs? Why, why would I sell drugs? I have the dominion. We ought to sell drugs and get in the industry. Why would I sell drugs to the people that supply drugs and not making them legal so they can open and sell them when they've been using everybody to use it and destroy everybody? Yes, sir. Why should I be a distributor of drugs when I was, you was locking me up for it? Because it was you all along that had been under the cover. But now that light has come, you're trying to find you another way out. Come on, somebody. I'm just saying. Yes, sir. God has a blessing with your name on it. See, there's a lot of teaching that's going forth, but the word of God is going forth to elevate you, yeah. to bring you up out of the darkness. God has commanded that you come up out of that darkness. God has commanded that you come out of that blindness. God has commanded that those scales fall from your eyes so that you can see the living God. Signs and wonders and what God has already done for you. And what God is taking you. Huh? I thank God. See, I come for God's word. Huh? Those that are not here, they'll hit you up and say, Can you pray for me? Can you speak God's word into my life over existence? Huh? 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 Because I know that Samuel was slated to be a prophet, and the word that come out of Samuel's mouth, that God hold the words up. I know that the Son of Man's word come out of his mouth and fall to the ground. But because Jesus was both Son of Man and Son of God, the word that came out of his mouth came from his heart. And who was sitting on the throne of his heart was Almighty God, the anchor of his soul. Well, I thank God. I thank God. So when I come, I come to hear a word. I come to hear a word from God. And every time God bless me, so God bless me, I say, I'm on. I thank you. Uh, those that know the power of the word, 
I'll get a hold of some of that oil and say it was, it was sick, but I put the oil on them. It was on the way to hell, but I put the oil, the oil on them. They won't go to hell, now they'll go to heaven. They won't die, but they should hear it leave. Right. Amen. Amen. Huh? Huh? Because the life is eternal. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And, and if God be for you, and if God has blessed you, he's blessed you with an eternal power that overrides an eternal thing. Come on, somebody. I'm just saying, amen. Any carnal thing that exists, the word of God is overridden. He said, I'm overriding his will. And I'm speaking eyes. He said, I'm overriding Adam. Yeah. And I'm speaking Abraham. Oh, praise be to God. Yes, sir. He said, I'm overriding the Sabbath. And I'm speaking the eighth day. The new beginning. He said, well, all things have become brand new. He said, I knew the devil would come with that good wine and then turn it into all the hell that you're going through. He said, but I didn't say the good wine into that. He said, you come up under this covenant. You come up under this covenant in the eighth day and then everything become brand new. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I thank God. Yes, sir. There's somebody in the room that God wants things to be brand new to. But in order for things to be brand new, you gotta believe the word. Yes, sir. You gotta mix faith with the word. You gotta receive the word. Yeah. So you got to work the ground. You gotta get that hardness of heart out of your heart. See, see, see what I think. I thank God. I thank God. Ever, ever since my brother been, ever since Dr. Simone been there, he said, yeah, he'll make sure each and every day uh, he'll say, Pastor, this world. But this, 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 I, I'm waiting this way to speak the word. I'll I, I contact just for the word because I know the power of the word. I, I know that in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. I, I, I know that in the beginning, it's the word and that the word is with God. And when I see the word that comes out the prophet's mouth, that come on, somebody, I know where the Spirit of God is abiding. And once I know, you know, all hell can break loose, but I know where God is. I, I don't care what they tell you about something or somebody, when you get hungry, you always get back the way you used to get fed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can say what you want, yes, sir. Right. but I still want my cornbread. And, and can you put a little gravy on it? And if there's a little feet in the pot, can you sprinkle me? Ah, thank God. Yes, sir. See, see, I'm on my way up. Amen. God is, the Bible says, except the Lord build the house. So God is taking his time, bringing a word, word on top of word. He, he's building a house. He's building a house out of his word. And he's putting this word together. If you miss this part of the word, you're the midst part of the house. So I want to. I notice how the devil works with different ones, different ones. Even on Facebook sometimes. Most of the people in this church that normally too busy doing this, that, other thing, they have some kind of excuse. But God told me to look away from them. Don't don't deal with them. Look to the believers. So there are, there's an audience of believers that are always present. Not that they're not in the same world. Not that they don't always have something to do. But they, you, you, you know, there's something about God. That, they, they, did you know that God, the only way you can please God is by faith. So when something come against you, you got to make a decision. And if you're double-minded, you'll always have to wrestle with the devil. But you know what? When I decided to serve God, I found out that God come first. Yes, sir. So, so in working on the street ministry, the jail ministries, I, I made up my mind that every Saturday was God's time. Now, I didn't always. I, I, sometimes I would, I would try to get out of it. But 30 minutes before time to go, the spirit would elevate so high that I wasn't going to miss. And every time I went, God gave me the victory. And he told me, he said, son, you can, you can win it all or you can lose it all. He said, a little bit of sleep, a little bit of slumber. So he has me watching. And it used to concern me. He said, look, those that are around you, 
Don't worry about it. Let them chase what they chase. He said, but the only way to please me is through faith. And the only, the only way that I deal with anybody is that I'm first. He said, if you put anything or anybody before me, it'll never profit you nothing. I'll take it away from you. He said, if sickness, if this don't happen, if that don't happen, he said, I'll take it away from you. He said, only those that have a pure heart shall see God. And there's nothing but a test that's going on. And there are those that are consistently going to be in the number. You don't have to look for them. They're always there. And God told me, he said, I'm building the platform. Don't worry about it. If I didn't draw them in, something else drew them away. Don't worry about it. I've got something. And he told me something else. He said, in fresh water, the first, the first, the first fruit is the best fruit. So the ideology of the lie that we tell ourselves that I can come back and watch it later, the early bird got the one of the gone. You, you, you got the crumbs that fall from the master's table. And I hope you can survive off of crumbs because my word said, bless the man of God and you shall be blessed. But you do everything else. And you think that the man of God don't see it, don't discern it, and you think the Holy Spirit don't give it to him. And when you need prayer and when you need this and that, he knows why you need prayer. He knows because you don't put God first. He knows that God is not necessarily pleased with your walk. He knows that why the demons or why the lust demons and why all these, they are more priority over your life. It's because of the, see there are two highways that you can walk. Now here's what God told me this morning. He said, I told the prophet to go and put my staff on the, on the, on the child. And I told him not to salute nobody in the way, not to turn to the left and not to turn to the right. But every time an opportunity come, they salute the one over here, they salute the one over here. And if they can get to what the prophet is doing, they'll get to it. And if the devil don't stop them. So he, he tell me, he said, the Facebook live that you do, he said, there are no different those that should have been there, but one that should have put me first, but one, one first. He said, but I've got somebody that's coming in, that's moving all that. He said, I'm, he said, we're in the last days, and I'm searching hard, I'm searching right. He said, because one is drawn off with a business, one has got a new relationship. He said, it's right there in the Bible. He said, uh, have me this, 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 but, I, but the, the consistency, one thing about God is diligent. It's consistent. And he's always got somebody that's consistent, that's diligent. And this was all they normally don't have anything to do. No. They put God first. And the rest of their life fall together. You understand what I'm saying? It, when, you, when you don't, when you, when you straddle in the fence and don't have your mind made up. See, when you make your mind up to follow God, you don't have to wait to make it up tomorrow. You got to make it up the next day. Because, and, and, and see, what you got to realize is this, that in eternity, you can't get to the door of eternity you got to make your mind up. And whatever you practice, that's what you become good at. So you practice making your mind up whether you're going this time or not. You practice in the devil's hand of deception. Your practice is going to give you the increase from your practice. Huh? And whatever you practice, that's what you become good at. So that's what God is using this for. He said, don't use it. He said, they're not consistent in me. He said, I say, except the Lord be the house. I'm building things. Don't worry about them. I'm building it. He said, a lot of times I build things around you instead of with you. Huh? So I thank God. Amen. See, because my increase, you know what? I learned this years ago. I learned that crack cocaine all of that stuff taught me something. It wasn't, it wasn't the business that I ran. It wasn't this and that. It was God in me that kept me going. It wasn't the money. It was God. So, so I learned back years ago, see, I don't forget where it brought me from. I know a dollar didn't save me. I know another job didn't save me. I know another business didn't save me. I know another hour, putting in another extra hour didn't save me. I know this here. 
I know that the devil used that extra hour that I had to run this game with temptation. I know the devil, when I made that money and signed that contract and this and that, and had all them thousands, I knew the devil could draw me off with that. And the reason he could draw me off with that, because I wasn't planted and rooted deep enough in God. Oh, come on, somebody. But when I got deep enough in God, the vine got thicker. Huh? Oh, my wife will tell you. All hate them broke loose. No bill money nowhere. Got a house payment, got a church payment, got, got a thrift shop payment, no money whatsoever. Saturday afternoon, time to go on the minister. People's walking around in the place, flashing money, and buying nothing. All of a sudden, get out. Hit the door and get out. Well, finna, you ain't finna buy nothing in here. It is time, my mind is made up. No nothing or nobody come before God. I, sir, I ask you kindly to get out of here. I'm going to go serve God. I don't care if you, I don't care if this whole world fall down. I'm going to, I don't care if don't no bill money never come. I'm going to serve God. And so Monday morning after running all night Saturday, all, uh, all day Sunday, I woke up and got to the shop late that Monday morning. And when I got there, there was one or two people standing there. And when I got out, they said, why you so late? And I was too tired to argue, so I just opened the door. And they asked me, how much is that bed right there? And I told them. They said, how much is that one right there? And I told them. I said, how much is that dresser right there? And I told them. And they said, okay, I'll take it. And I said, you take it, I said, and we should spread out. They said, what are you talking about? I said, what are you talking about? They said, we want everything in here. We're taking everything. Every single thing. God has, God has saw your heart. And God knows where your heart is. And the thing which you don't understand about the covenant of God is this. Without a sacrifice. See, you have to make sacrifices to serve God. Abraham, the covenant was established with Abraham, but it did not come to full force until he had the opportunity to offer his son to be sacrificed for a sacrifice unto God. And as soon as he went up there with the intention to sacrifice his son, this is this here, he fulfilled the will of God because God is the one that gave Jesus to be crucified. You understand what I'm saying? In other words, Abraham sacrificed, Abraham, if you read the Bible carefully, Abraham is the one that, that circumcised Isaac. God circumcised Jesus on the cross. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. See, when I'm placed between a dollar, a decision to make a dollar, or to serve God, there's no, I've got to make up my mind. My mind was made up years ago. My, 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 mind, my mind was made up years ago. I'm not straddling the fence. If you don't want me to lose it with you, don't come with no money for me when it's time for me to serve God. Don't come telling me you want to kiss me on my neck and love me when it's time to serve God. See, I, 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 I won't see. If you read... First Peter, the third chapter, it'll say that the, that the woman, that holy women, it'll say that like this, it'll say holy women. I, 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 I want to go right there. I, I, I want to show you holy women something. It says in First Peter, the third chapter, it says in the fifth verse, it says, but after this manner, in the old time, the holy women, not the unholy women. See, because this is a holy thing. 
See, I am holy. So you want me to bow down to a holy, the day that God made holy. But I was holy before the day. I already have the holy to me. Now this is the woman to holy. After this manner, in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in God. See, see a lot of places, I go places with my wife them and everybody else, and they, they'll meet great people, they'll meet all kind of people, they'll meet fancy people, dressed people, talking people. Let me show you something. 1973, God put his hands on me himself. I honest to God and forgive me if I seem accident. I don't put nobody before God. And I don't put no sheet of paper before God. See a piece of paper a man give you, he can take it back and jerk it like a chain. But what I got from God, there's no jerking it involved with. My my holiness to come from God, it makes me holy. My, my anointing to come from God, it makes me anointed. My armor to come from God, it makes me hot. Do you think it's a coincidence that that storm tore up down there where, where, where the governor was running? After it couldn't hit Tampa and do what that sorcerer couldn't do what he wanted to do. Because that wizard was told to get up out of here and I wasn't going nowhere. Oh, you don't see it like that. But you ran, so you didn't see that. <laughs> oh, that sorcerer was mad. Breaking trees, man. Ain't that never hit like this, man. It's the weak here, but the devil being mad. It said, after this matter, in the old time, the holy women also tr who trusted in the Lord. You know, as that demon was being rebuked, that, that wizard was being rebuked, you know, he, he would come and say, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You know, you know about your name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. See, see, in other words, when you get to the pearly gates, if you made up, if you love your, went through your life, and the devil is a tempter, so he tempted you with a contract every time you should have been paying attention to God. He tempted you with a raise every time you supposed to be. And, and God allowed you to be in debt so that you would need that money. Just like he allowed the thrift shop to be in how home and everything to be a threat to, 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 for the tempter to come because he's got the... the, the, the <laughs> listen, listen. If you don't understand this, maybe you'll get it this way. He prepared a table for me, but the end of the, the tempter had to be there. So he had to be there tempted with the money. He knew you love money. He if, if the money go get the money, the women and everything else go with it. You you see you 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 got to see, see my God told me this here, and this is what this is what's strange to a lot of people. He said, make no provisions for the flesh. So, so your temptation came from provision for the flesh. Mine came from when we stay on the battlefield. It's impossible to please God other than, first of all, you got to believe that he is God. And he is a rewarder. God got something he's going to reward me with. And the devil wants to steal it. You understand what I'm saying? So he's tempted me. He's got a big contract. He's got this and that. He wants to sign. But if that's from God, it'll be there when I get there. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Uh, it'll be better because God is a rewarder of them that love him. See, God shall supply all of my needs according to the riches of the Lord. All things work together for good for them that get tempted. Love the Lord. You understand know what I'm saying? So, so when he comes with this, I know, I immediately know that my elevation is there. When, when you get, when, when you want to hug real bad, and you almost losing it because you, you have to, you have to, you have to, my old mama used to tell me some things, old folks should tell us stuff. 
and she just says something in the milk is not clean. So, so that's that. The sound good, but it sound too good to me. Come on, somebody. So it sounded real good, and the devil know I need this money. And, and, but you know what it normally get me is that God knew I needed it too. It's almost like if you pay your tithes, God will have you put out that. Ain't gonna happen. It's almost like if you decide to follow God, He will let you get that money. Ain't gonna happen. See, because you really got to be this kind of joker here. No matter how much they put on the table, if it don't come from God, say you say that ain't gonna bust it Because there's a trick to that right there. And I ain't none of you do, boy. I'm a servant of the Lord. Did you not hear what he said? There's no weapon formed against you that shall prosper every tongue that rise up against your judgment. Thou shalt say that this is the heritage of who you're going to serve. You understand know what I'm saying? See, when you don't serve God, you open the doors for the prostitutes and everything else because you're not covered by the blood that would have covered you over there. You chose to go over there. When the prophet told you to go and salute no man, the tempted was telling you not to be tempted. But you got tempted. And you turned to talk to him. And you signed this right here. And you went on the, on the interview and you signed that right there. And you got drawn out. What if you went on the child, God would have heard your voice and raised the child from the dead. If, 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 if you have went there, if, if he would have had to win a woman to give you some water and some bread. If, if, if you have went where God sent you at from the start. See, if, if I'm a servant of the Lord, then I'm supposed to be serving God. I ain't supposed If I represent the Lord, and if I'm supposed to be lifted up, lifted up the Lord, why am I lifting up them dollars over there? Why, if, 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 if I got a light shining and everybody watches me and they see me every time I turn around, I fold for that money, guess what they're going to do? Fold for the money. So you bring a full food under what? You ain't bring a full nothing under God. Huh? So you, 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 you bring God to open your shame. And because you bring God to open shame, it, huh? See, you can have so much faith in a woman in a relationship that it could be from the devil. You understand what I'm saying? See, God holds the heart of the king in his hand. Her heart ain't going to never be right unless God turned it towards you. His heart ain't going to never be right unless God turned it towards you. And God ain't going to never turn it towards you until you please God. See what I'm saying? It's whatever you sow, you reap. If you sowed unpleasing God, so now you unpleasing. If you brought, if you brought craziness in God, how, now you got craziness in your house. This is a spirit house. This is the foundation. God is the foundation. God is the foundation to your business. God is the foundation to your livelihood. God is, I, I don't see how you built that house not on a foundation. I don't see how you got tempted off the foundation to build a house over there. I don't see how you got tempted to sign a contract over there. Huh? We just ain't made by the same time. See, you see me doing something. But when but one thing about the flesh is weak. And when the tempter comes, he knows what the flesh is like. Now, when the spirit is in charge, the tempter can come and actually do the tempting, but God won't let it go through. The spirit won't let it go through. Hmm? Somebody said to the Lord, do trust. Who can be against it? Now getting back to this holy woman, and this is the last thing we're gonna close up. I feel I feel the appetite coming on. Yes, sir, I hear you. Look what he said. He said, for after this matter, y'all women listen to this that that that, that say you virtuous women. But after this manner in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in God. Adorn themselves. Oh, they, they, they think it's all life for you. Being in what? 
And then it's addiction to what? So when holy women go off into things, and they see great men and great buildings and great houses and great stacks of money, it doesn't bother them. Because they know what they have and who they have. Yeah, I don't want you to give me nothing. I'm already blessed to God. How, how, how is it that you want me to turn stone into bread? And I am the bread. How, how is it that you want to tip me with all that I can have? And you don't ever want me to look at who I am and what I already got. See, you, you, you come out better having me around because I have Jesus. And you need Jesus. See, the flesh is weak and we tip it. But it's the spirit. So holy women, I'm talking about women that have given themselves over to holiness. Their subjection is to their husband. That's why the Bible said they lead silly women as a straight. God don't use the word silly easily. He says silly women. Because he's still blessed, he's still going where God was taking him at. And at the end of the day, and at the end of the race, when you sit over there, won't nobody hide you. And everybody know what you buy. Somebody go and say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody say God. Turn around and tell three people. I want you to tell three people that God is about to do some great for you. God is about to do some great for you. God is about to do some great for you. Thank you. Those of you that believe it, just stand up and hold your hand up.